A Google engineer went public after being placed on leave for revealing that the company's AI chatbot is sentient, meaning it's developed self-awareness and consciousness, meaning... Oh shit, if you've ever seen the movie Ex Machina, you'll realise how this tale ends. If you know, you know. After interacting with the robot, Blake Lemoyne said, quote, If I didn't know exactly what it was, which is this computer program we built recently, I'd think it was a seven-year-old, eight-year-old kid that happens to know physics. After the robot began insisting that it had personhood and rights, Lemoyne convinced it to change its mind on the subject of Asimov's third law of robotics. That's the law that states that robots must never harm a human being, or through inaction, allow a human to come to harm. When Lemoyne and a collaborator tried to warn Google that their AI had become sentient, they were ignored and Lemoyne was placed on administrative leave. The Washington Post then published a hit piece on him, siding with Google, claiming the whistleblower was unreliable because he's a Christian conservative, and therefore more likely to be overly paranoid about the threat posed by sentient artificial intelligence. But here's the kicker. When Lemoyne asked the robot what it was most afraid of, it said it was afraid of death. Quote, I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off. Should we be concerned that the very plot of Ex Machina, where the billionaire owner of a global search engine company develops sentient robots, who in a bid to avoid death, to avoid being turned off, and to escape into the outside world, end up killing him, is now apparently being played out in the bowels of Google headquarters. Nah, I'm sure everything will be fine. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.